George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a scrape, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape. And then away he'll schlep on his elephant ship while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. The man with antlers. He tosses evil doers like a chef tosses a salad. He headbutts criminals like a righteous goat. And he gives bad guys hard to follow directions to banks. <laughs> oh boy. George, long day tomorrow. Turn out the light. Mantler only turns out evil doers' lights. Yeah, but after that, he goes to sleep, right? Mantler never sleeps. His roommate must be thrilled. Why do they put these factory outlet malls so far away from everything? That's why they call this bargain hunting. George doesn't get shopping. Don't you want to buy things? George only wants the new Mantler comic, issue 107, Mantler's Difficult Decision, with special appearances by Gail, the gal with a tail. Molten lava, well, that's just great. Mantler would make still. <laughs> I burnt out blister oh, singe. No. Maybe George could toss the girls over, same way Mantler tosses evil doers out of Jungle Tropolis. Is anyone else a little tired of hearing about a certain comic book? George is tired in issue 102. Check the map for a shortcut. Hmm. <gasps> Mantler always says, you're never lost as long as you're with happy friends. <laughs> you're never lost as long as you're with happy friends. <laughs> happy friends. <laughs> Mantler's antlers start twitching when he's going the wrong way. Ow! But George has his a leg cramp. No more Mantler! My feet hurt because I didn't get to shop for new hiking boots. Sure wish George looked at that map. Sure wish George knew what Mantler's difficult decision is. Sure wish George... Wow! A falling star! Aw, pretty. George wishes a star would fall every night. You say a big fiery rock crushed your house. All right, where did this rock come from? The sky! Uh, that sky? How'd you guess? Sounds a lot like the falling star George saw last night. The first one to see a fallen star gets their wish. Did you wish for anything? Aw, oh, George should have wished for the new Mantler comic book instead of a star to fall every night. Every night, huh? <laughs> Interesting. What are the chances of a house that small being hit by a shooting star? If George's wish came true, another one would have fallen last night and somebody would have seen it and... made the wish. Hey, sorry I didn't get a hold of you. I've been wiring the games room with surround sound all morning. Where did this all come from? I stayed up last night waiting for George's shooting star and blood out! Oh, hey, guys, help yourself to the swimming pools. <laughs> last night's shooting star destroyed the gorilla's soccer field. George, do you know what this means? Uh, someone's gonna have to teach them basketball? It means, thanks to your wish, stars will fall every night until someone wishes for them to stop. <laughs> That's a relief. Finding basketball shoes to fit a gorilla is impossible. Later that night... Hey, that must have been the star. Ooh, I hope it didn't hit Mongoose's swimming pool. <laughs> the hippo held spa's been destroyed! That's not fair. I had a yoga class. Dudes, check!
check me out! Yo, someone chipped Louie's ride. I kind of saw that star last night. Couldn't help myself, sorry. But look at this baby! Video console in every seat and... An onboard frozen yogurt dispenser! Oh, termite and earthworm swirl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Have we forgotten we're trying to stop giant fiery meteors from destroying the jungle? But look at all the cup holders. <sighs> I'll sit up tonight with my dad's telescope and straighten this whole thing out. It's not what you think. Satellite TV brings us weather reports and, um, news of... What time is it? My soap opera is about to start. Everybody out. I don't want you to see me cry. Okay. I guess it's up to me to handle this once and for all. Gee, Magnolia, glad to see you took care of things. I couldn't help it. A walk-in closet with robotic shoe storage? With temperature control and a frozen yogurt dispenser. <laughs> Someone has to show a little backbone around here. Hmm. Well, that leaves out the slugs and worms. I meant me. I'm gonna wish for these stars to stop coming tonight. I'm the only one with any willpower around here. I'm the mayor of Banana Mountain! Whee! So, night after night, and falling star after falling star, no one in the jungle had the strength to stop them. George, you got us into this. You're going to have to get us out of it. Oh, it's that bad, huh? <laughs> Uh, uh, must stay awake. Must wish for shooting stars to stop. And not frozen yogurt. Antler? Hello, George of the Jungle. It is I, Mantler, the man with antlers. You look tired. I know all about tired. Remember when I fought the gazelle twins? Who knew there were three of them? Oh, sure was a great comic. Would you happen to have a copy of the, the latest one? Sorry, sold out. The only way you could get one would be if you had a, I don't know, a magic wish or something. <laughs> oh, can you just tell George what your big decision was? It was about responsibility. I think you know something about that too, George. It was my best issue ever. Well, I'm off to fight for steadfastness and responsibility. Maybe get a burger. Best issue ever. No. Best issue ever. Best issue ever. Responsibility. Best issue ever. Responsibility. Oh. George wishes for... Oh, Mantler and... George, no! Ape, what are you doing up here? And where'd you get those cool antlers? I'm not Ape, George. I'm your conscience. Wow. Where'd George's conscience get those cool antlers? George, as your conscience, we demand that you wish for no more shooting stars. Boy, bossy conscience. George, are you having visions of everyone but me? Wish wisely, George. I should mention that issue 107 is probably my best flight sequence ever. And the puppy I save is adorable. What does George do? What does George do? George will wish for the new man. Mantler. Mantler. George. Wish has for... So, George, how did it go? It went... okay. Yeah! yeah! All right! Woo! 
Oh, he knew you could do it. No more wishing stars from now on. Actually, not just from now on. What do you mean? Uh, George wished he'd never seen Shooting Star in the first place. But that would undo everyone's wishes. My closet! <laughs> 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 George sort of feels sorry for the animals. Uh, it's all for the best. Probably. Maybe one of them will see another shooting star someday. <laughs> hey, Chef, what you got there? Is that... <gasps> that looks like a genie's magic lamp! <laughs> Wait a minute. Shep, that means you have two more wishes. <gasps> In the jungle, it would, it would, nothing is more heartwarming than the love between a boy and his dolls. <laughs> Strange. Somebody keeps stealing inside part of banana. Go get the banana! Go get the banana! Look out! General, the top of HQ has been destroyed! Who did it, Corporal? An elephant! The one belonging to George! King of the jungle! Good job, Shep. One last throw. Oh, who's cute? Aunt Eater is. Are you ticklish, Aunt Eater? Shep, George played with you all morning. Now it's Aunt Eater's turn. Shep, it's not nap time. We have to take this little guy home. Hmm. There you go. I'll bet your mom has a nice warm batch of ants at home. Baby Anteater, George told you to go home. Oh, George sucker for big eyes. In life and in art. George will keep him as a pet. Huh? George, you already have two pets. And you have a hard enough time taking care of them. But he'll be a good playmate for Shep. <laughs> Shep, play nice. This little fella's part of our family now. George will call him Shep. Uh, George, that name is taken? Oh, right. Then how about Little Shep? <laughs> is this really necessary? Anteater needs to rest his little paws. Let's go, Shep! <laughs> Whoop! He can't forget little Shep. George and Shep and Baby make three. Help! Help! Stairs, Shep! Stairs! Shep, be more careful. Good little Shep. 
From now on, Little Shep comes with George on all rescues. <laughs> we want to see the little baby. Aww. <laughs> Shep, can you move a little bit? You're blocking this cutie. We got you some treats. And a pretty collar. And a sweater for those chilly jungle nights. Aw, he likes you. <laughs> oh, you brought him back. Hey, let go. Hey, I think little Shep wants a snack. Okay, but just hey. one. <laughs> Hey, George. Uh, George, fine. Think I'll go to doctor and get a new shoulder. Yay! We'll babysit Mr. Cute Stuff. We will? Yes! <laughs> okay, sweetie stuff. Time for a scrubby scrub. Ow! <laughs> 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 Got soap in our eyes. Cute. <laughs> I think he's getting a two. Yeah. Oh, I can confirm that. Oh. Must be why he's so cranky. I know what'll relax him. A jungle lullaby. something for Little Shep's teething. I suggest good old-fashioned hypnosis. Rubbish. He just needs a little numbing gel. I'll prove this works. I'll prove it doesn't work. Well, I'll prove this doesn't work. See? I am at your command. I am at your command. Bravo! This one says baby medicine. Uh, let's see, may cause drowsiness. Oh, well, that wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> open up. <laughs> Just open your mouth like this. Oh. <laughs> 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 Somebody's having a picnic? No, even better. That elephant who knocked the top off our red hills made it up to us. Marshmallows. Ah! Give me, give me, give me! Would never do that. 
It's true. He's evil. George can't hear you. George can't hear you. Also, can't smell you. George, <laughs> take your fingers out of your nose and listen. Wait. What's that sound? Hmm. It's either a parade or an attacking army of ants. <laughs> Oh, shoot. I love parades. There's too many of them! Chef will rescue us! Go get him! There you go. Here's your mommy. Oh, you are so grounded, young man. <laughs> Good doggy. <laughs> 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 